How's it going, everyone? It is Friday, January 19th. This is the video for today. So let's go over the market on a longer term basis here. Uh, we got this breakout over this compression, new all time high. And we are chugging along. You can see here that um, we had a nice gap up. We held the gains. We started to inch higher. Pretty steady uh, move. There's not big candles that can be smacked down. Found some supported VWAP uh, near this test here. Came up to the high of the year, compressed, broke through. And as soon as we started to break through here, you can see the volume start to pick up as uh, shorts and you know short call sellers and 480 start to get squeezed out. Bullish specs in the sidelines start to get in, um, and really heavy volume and steady price action supporting the move. So that is looking very nice for the market, a very nice bullish day. Uh, and this is the kind of move that's going to have continuation. So um, the tricky part is finding a stock that's not too overextended, and that's why my pick of the day is Guild. Um, nice compression break here, broke through the compression and above this prior level. Over here, going back a little bit for a retest, but I like how it's not too out of the gate. Pretty steady buying, doesn't extend too far away from its 8 EMA and rides it up pretty cleanly. So that's probably my pick of the day. Um, if we compare it to something like, um, let's look at something like AVGO. Now, AVGO, really nice move here. And you can see it's broken through like all of these trend lines. Um, let me just reset these. All right, broken through all these trend lines here. Um, it's for me, it's a tad out of the gate, um, but we have really nice, steady, consistent price action here again. Um, not opposed to swinging it. It's just sort of a preference. Um, I like ones that are a little bit closer. Um, something like SMCI. You can see how big the stock moved, and I was I was considering taking this break at the high of the day here, but I did not um, because uh, I actually had trouble a little bit on these grindy up days where I don't want to chase anything, but I also don't um, you know there's, there's kind of this times where there's not really anything major to pull back from. You can just kind of ride it up here and stick with your positions because we haven't seen any deep retracements, uh, which is what I'm comfortable so. There's a bit of a um, learning curve for me in, in kind of day trading these. Um, I think the great opportunity was one on this bearish cycle that diverged, you could enter on this pullback as well. You can enter LSR dipped and pop back up over here. This was a great entry point. So um, there were some potentials here, but I just kind of missed it earlier in the day. I kind of came in over here. So I was a little bit you know unsure on what to do. Um, now, Couple things I want to do here. First, I have a long term spy swing that I took here. Took here, and then I added here, and I'm going to add again over here. Um, so we are going to buy a little bit under there. Let's see if we got our fill. All right, so we added to our long term spy position because we're holding this breakout, we're holding this bullish cycle, and we're going to go up higher. Um, now, the second thing I'm going to look for here is Lottos. This is a nice time to get in some Lottos. We have good price action. Um, AMD was pretty nice. Um, I like Adobe, though. And that's the one that you can see when the market was compressing, Adobe was trucking higher. So what I'm going to do is take the Adobe 610 Lotto uh, right here. Take one for, let's see if I can get 84 cents right in the middle here, maybe 82. All right, you want to wait till all these lottos uh, expire uh, over here. Um, we'll see if we can get that fill on any move down on Adobe. Now, we'll have to see if the market starts to pop up over here. Now, while it does that, let's also look at the prior picks. Last video, I forgot what pick I did, so let's quickly go over that. Um, first pick that I had from two days ago was TMUS. So in that time, I day traded because I saw this trend line coming in the way. So we look at that video. 
I took the day trade here and exited here. If you held it, you could have taken profits over here, or if you held it further, you could also take profits. I would be holding onto swings at this point. I wouldn't be, um, you know, pushing that too far. Um, but that was TMUS. Let's look at ELF. Interesting. All right. So ELF, you can see here, gapped up. It's hitting some resistance over here, not really budging. So the stock on an intraday basis, um, my confidence is pretty low. Um, but on a market basis, my market confidence is pretty high. So with any market move, there will be buyers and you still should have a good chance to get out of the trade, but just not as much as a stock with relative strength. Oh my gosh, I didn't get my Adobe fill. Now this 82 cents call is going to be popping up over here. Let's see if we can get a fill over here. Live lotto trade going on. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? Oh, that's Elf. Whoops. All right. Um, ACAM is also doing very, very well. All right. Um, yeah, going for 92. Oh my gosh. God, this is, I just I missed the move. I missed I missed a lot of here. Um, I'm thinking if I want to jump on this a little bit. I don't. I want to get a good price. I want to get a price on this lotto. So um, I don't want to push up at this too much. But you can see it's made a move here. Spies holding the spare cycle. It has a position to just keep running up. In my opinion, how do I know this? Well, we got this breakout over here. Look at this, stack green candles, heavy volume. This pullback, if you look down, was on lower volume and then we had increasing R vol here, really tiny R vol on these candles. So a lot of bullish movement going into Adobe. Um, and I think I'm gonna modify my order here. Get a fill, one, uh, let's go for 108 over here. Um, see if we can get a fill in. Yep, I got a fill in on Adobe. Okay, so this bullish cycle should happen, and my target would be somewhere over here, probably this gap at 6, uh, 613 here. Um, and if we don't get any move in Spy or, the, or Adobe, then we are out. So Adobe is looking very, very nice. Oh, I'm going to message my friend. Tell them that I'm taking these lottos. All right, yeah, gotta gotta help out the homies. So um, while Adobe starts to move here live trade. Let's also look at my prior pick, which was ACAM. Uh, ACAM doing pretty nicely today, popped up at the market. You can see here it's hitting some resistance at this high, right over here. So not super worried about that. Um, again, my plan was to see if it adds to this level. Um, if it adds to that level, then, um, or breaks that level, sorry, then I can add to the position here. Um, I have one contract, I probably wouldn't double the two contracts, so that's just too much of my size, but I would add shares on that breakout. Um, all right, PCSs, let's take a look at these. So Airbnb, um, not as strong as the market, but moving up, so holding that support, which I really, really like. Zoom, nice recovery today, so we were taking some heat on this guy. Um, but it's recovering nicely through those SMAs, which is what I wanted to see, right? It needed that market move. So especially as tech is rallying, I think Zoom would also uh, get a boost from that. Uh, NVIDIA has been really mighty. I mean, like my, my swing shares from a while back was pretty good, but I mean, the PCS was just, it's, it's not a bad choice. It's just kind of, the, it's like the wrong, it's not the wrong choice because it's still gonna be extremely profitable. But the issue is that, if I had a CDS or calls on this stock, um, would have been better. Now, calls are higher risk, right? You don't know if this breakout's gonna hold. This is a really nice move on NVIDIA. But um, with PCS, I basically, like, I capped my max gain, um, but for a, for a less 
crazier move, right? I didn't know, given the market situation here, I didn't know how NVIDIA would react uh, to that. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking when I took that trade. All right, um, so those are my PCSs. And let's look at Uber as well, that's the last PCS. Um, Uber is kind of doing what I thought it was gonna do. It's, it's not moving crazy, but it's still strong and it's holding this level here. So uh, Uber PCS is in great shape. AMGN, nice recovery today, moving from the market. Again, holding this level here. You see how much it's poking and prodding at that level. Super nice move. Uh, pulled back here a little bit, but it's still looking quite good. And I'm gonna continue to hold that. Walmart, Walmart, not super great today, but it's a choppy stock, right? You can see every time it moves up, it has to test this level again, the ADMA before it pops back up. So um, Walmart is also, again, there's probably money, some money flowing out of these um, consumer staples stocks, consumer defensive, right? Because we're getting more aggressive and money flowing into these tech stocks. So that is what I'm seeing in Walmart. Um, and, you know, this is just, this is hold, right? I didn't say that we're going to get off to the races here. And if we did, then I would take profits. It's going to grind up slowly to this level. <clears throat> All right. And then we have my spy swing, which I mentioned. So I just added to that. So let's take a look at Adobe over here. If this wants to load, let's see. I guess not. All right, there we go. All right, so Adobe here, hold the line, moved up a little bit more while the market's going down. You can see how much volume is coming into the stock. Um, so Adobe is looking very nice. Once this bull cycle goes, I mean, there's to me, there's a pretty good chance we can get uh, over here into 610. Um, I don't know if this gap will be resistance or not. You know, this gap we've broken, there's a mini gap over here. So I'm leaning on this level as resistance, we have the volume to break through these things. We have that momentum. So um, we'll see what happens with Adobe if it stalls here. But again, with the market push and this stock strength, I mean, we are we are gonna be really, really good. Um, and let's look at Guild here. This bear cycle is ending here. Guild is pulling back, so I am going to enter in on guild my sizing is ten dollars divided by the stock etr um, so in this case i would take six shares of guild um, let's say at around ninety dollars ninety times six is five forty um, it's a little bit less than ninety so we are going to buy guild right here and get that fill all right adobe is at six ten So let's look at this. Ooh, that's looking pretty nice here. So these calls are now in the money. They're gonna go even higher. Got it at 108. So I can probably get out at 130-ish. Um, so if I can get to 216, that could be pretty nice. If we look at the next level up here, uh, it'd be pretty high um, if you get a market tailwind. So I'm gonna stick with these because Adobe is doing pretty well. Um, market is gonna move up. And then I am going to cut the video and then I'm going to add to the video again uh, when I take profits on Adobe. Um, so that's the pick of the day, Guild. Um, let's quickly check again if we got into that pick. We did. We got our fill. Um, not soup. Yeah, again, it's a little weak, but I just wanted a nice price on the stock. Um, and I believe we will search higher. Um, my target on guild is this level right here, 88.73. So I have a nice dollar, a good amount of room here. You can see that there is some um, resistance at this level. We did break the resistance on this level, which is what I like to see. So guild is a nice mover, consistent mover. Um, you could probably stay in this as a longer term swing, to be honest. I think on this breakout over here, it does pretty, pretty well. So that is my pick of the day. Um, Elf is still open. If we look at our cost pick from a while back, you can see how well that the stock has done. Um, you could probably take profits here or even just stick with it as it grinds up higher. So if you took it when the video came out at 667, 
you know, high, that's you almost up $30 on that stock. 5% move in a couple days, pretty, pretty nice. So that is the video for today. We are going to look at the Adobe Lotto in a bit, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, everyone, this is just the update from that trade. So if I go to my trade window here, and see, so also took a crowd lotto at 50. Um, kind of missed my mark here. There was a chance to get out at around 90 cents, but I missed that. Um, and you can see here on Adobe, got filled at 108 and then got out at 150. Um, I entered around here. So we look at the trade, got filled in at 1203. So this is the candle somewhere around here. And then I took profits somewhere around here. Uh, there was a chance it could get to like, Two dollars one ninety, so I had a chance to get a lot higher on the trade. But um, it's tough to trade these lottos; they uh, kind of really sell into strength, um, and it's hard to know when the move will end because you're in such a short time crunch. Um, this move down here, I was negative for about like two minutes, and then I went back up. Um, and so when the market stalls, we don't get the market move we wanted. Right? It was kind of flat. Um, I had to decrease my profit target in order to find success on the trade. So that's kind of the tricky part with lottos. If we look at the crowd lotto, you can see I took it here and it was a nice, really good, nice call in the chat. I had a chance to get out um, for almost 80% here, but I was like, all right, this is a nice move here. I don't know if it'll retrace back and then move back higher. Retraced back, I was down on it, and then I managed to take a small profit here at the end. If we look at the 290s, yeah, I mean, it's a massive bid ask right now because it's losing all the options. But could I've gotten more? Sure. But, you know, this end of day volatility makes it pretty, pretty interesting. So two ones of the lotus today. I am in GLD long and we will resume on Monday.